get Tricky's question with a bunch here. Um, find one point on the curve y equals 1 over x squared plus 1 such that the tangent at that point passes through the point 6, to six negative 2. Um, this question is trickier than anything that you're going to see on the test, so if you couldn't get it, don't worry about it, but let's just look at how you would do this question here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about what points do I have on my tangent. So, points, let's fix that. There we go. All right, so points on tangent. I know I have the point 6, negative 2, because we're told it passes through that. The other point that I sort of know about is the point of tangency, or the point where our tangent meets our uh, function y here. So I'll call it the point of tangency. I know this point exists. I don't know what it is, but let's just for a second say that at that point of tangency, we have some x value. We don't know what x is, but we'll just say we have some value x. What is the y value going to be? Well, the y value is going to be given by our function. So we can write this as 1 over x squared plus 1. Now, because this is calculus, you probably think, okay, we need to calculate the slope of the tangent. So let's figure out the slope of the tangent. To do this, we're going to take the derivative of our function. So we're going to rewrite our function as y equals x squared plus 1 to the negative 1. Take our derivative, which is going to be negative x squared plus 1, just using the chain rule here, to the negative 2, multiplied by the derivative of what's inside, multiplied by 2x. And if we want, we can rearrange this so that this is the negative 2x is on top, negative sign up front, and on the bottom we'll put our x squared plus 1 all squared. So we have an expression now for the slope of the tangent at some point x. Okay, and that is negative 2x um, divided by x squared plus 1 squared. Is there another way that we could come up with the slope of the tangent? Well, going back to grade 9, we know that slopes are given by delta y over delta x. And in order to use this formula, we need two points that are on our line. Well, we have expressions for two points on our line. We've got coordinates of one of them and an expression for this other point called the point of tangency. So let's put them into this formula, change in y over change in x. Um, let's see, we'll use point of tangency is y2, so this will be 1 over x squared plus 1 is our 1y value, minus negative 2, so we'll just change that to plus 2, and then our change in x is going to be x on the bottom minus 6. If this is an expression for the slope of the tangent, of tangent, that expression has to be equal to this other expression for the slope of the tangent that we got from our derivative. So I'm going to set these two things equal to each other, x squared plus 1 over 2, and lo and behold, I have a function, an expression of one variable here, not a function of one variable, but an equation in one variable that I can solve for x. So how am I going to solve this thing for x? Well, I am going to cross multiply like that. So on the right hand side, I'm going to have negative 2x times x minus 6. On the right hand side, I am going to get x squared plus 1 squared over x squared plus 1. And that's that first term plus 2 times x squared plus 1 all squared. And then I'm going to start simplifying it. I can cancel out an x squared plus 1 here and get x squared plus 1 plus 2 x squared plus 1 squared. 
equals um, on the right hand side I'm going to have negative 2x squared plus 12x and let's expand the left hand side here so I can start uh, collecting my like terms. So I'm going to have x squared plus 1 plus uh, I've got to multiply out this binomial and then multiply everything by 2 so I'm going to get 2x to the power of 4 plus 4x squared plus 1 times 2 plus 2 it's going to be equal to this. Okay. Now let's bring everything over to one side so we can start trying to solve this. So I'm going to put 0 here on the left hand side okay, and I'm going to bring everything over to the right here. So let's see, I bring my, uh, now let's do it the other way. Let's keep 2x to the power of 4 here. So I'm done with that term. Let's see, how many x squareds do I have? I got 1 plus 4 is 5 plus another 2 is 7 x squareds. I've got a negative 12x. I'm bringing this over. So I dealt with all of these terms, and then I'm just going to have to add 3, and all of this needs to be equal to 0. How do I solve this thing? Um, not 100% sure uh, whether I can factor this, but what I can use is I can use the uh, factor theorem. From advanced functions where I can just sort of try values in this and see which values of x give us 0. Okay. So if I stick in, I'm going to start with 0, 0 is not going to work. If I try x equals 1 um, and I sub that in, I get 2 plus 7 minus 12 plus 3 equals 0, 9 minus 12, yep, so that works out. So a value of x that satisfies this expression is x equals 1. Now, I could then go ahead and, and uh, use synthetic division or long division to, to divide through by that factor and get my other factors, but the question is only asking us for one point on this curve. So once I have this 1x value, I can stop. Well, I don't stop. I sub that into my original function get my y value. This is going to work out to be 1 half. So one point on the curve where the tangent is horizontal, oh, one point on the curve such that the tangent at that point passes through the point 6, negative 2 is the point 1, 1 half. As I said, this is trickier than anything you're going to see on the test, but it's always fun to try.